I mentioned dashboards assembled by different view types in the last video. In this one, we're going to talk about related content. Related content allows you to assemble dashboards in a different way by, by assembling usually with a super tag. It is possible to do this with um, untagged nodes, um, but it's usually going to be within a super tag. You're going to put together different searches or different references that can allow you to see information relevant to the specific node you're viewing right now. So I could be looking at a project and then have a list of the, or a calendar of the tasks that are associated with that project and also have, you know, a list of notes that are connected to that project or a project history that has all the past activity with the project. And all of that can be just generated automatically by having searches in the related content. So you can see all your information for a project or a person or a meeting just by in the project or person or meeting super tag, putting these searches in related uh, content. And it'll, this will teach you a little about using the parent placeholder. Um, parent, when you use it in related context um, or anywhere, really, it points to the node above. But in related content in specifically, that means if you're in a super tag, it's actually pointing to the particular instance of the super tag. So if I put these searches inside a super tag and I use the term parent, it means that I'm going to see when I'm looking at, at Joe Black's uh, page, I'm going to see information about Joe Black. And when I'm looking at Jane Doe's page, I'm going to see information about Jane Doe. And when I'm looking at, uh, you know, Tom Smith's page, I'm going to see information or node. I'm going to see information about Tom Smith because it's not saying I want to see anything in particular. I just want to see the information about whichever person or project or what have you, this one is. So the mechanics of that are the related content is in the advanced options area of a super tag. So if I want to get into it, uh, you know, let's just use um, as an example here, uh, one of our uh, super tags that we have, let's say task. Um, if I then right click, go to configuration, down here is advanced options. And when I scroll down, you we've seen build title from fields, but scroll down a little further, and you have related content. This is the search that you build here is no different from any other search. Um, it'll work, you know, it's, you know, the same as any other query does, uh, but you can just put it in this location. And when you do that, and then you return to a task, uh, you'll see that this information is on the side. So let's say, for example, here that I want to see, um, you know, on the side of a task, let's actually use project here. That'll probably give me a better thing. Project, do I not have a project? That's fine. Let's create project example, and we'll create that here. And what I wanna see here now is I wanna see um, a search for tasks related to that project. So I'll create it as a search. Um, I'll say, I wanna see any task where the uh, project, and I'll just create a field for it right now, is parent. And of course, I don't have any tasks that do that right now. Let's make this field an options from super tag, and we'll make it a project. Um, and so that means that when we're in a task, we can select a project, and then that will show up in the related content when we get to that project. So let's say sample project, and I'll create uh, you know, sample task, task example. And then in here, we'll specify, put this uh, super tag or this field inside here. And then that way I can now say, I wanna put this in sample project. And when I go to the node for sample project, you can see my sample task is sitting there in the side because this particular project has this particular task associated with it. That's the power of related content. I mean, I use task to project here, but it could be task assigned to a person or meeting coming up with a person or a, a quote that's coming out of a book and I could go to the book and see all the quotes that are associated with it because that related content is there. The sky is pretty much the limit with how this can work. So you can add searches or references as you just saw. And then as I just showed, the parent uh, will allow you to access the instance of the super tag. Related content is only visible when you're focused on a node, that is you visit it. So if you saw here, you know, if I expand this node, I can't see the related content, but when I, or I'll expand it here as you can see it. But if I go to it, then I'll be able to see the related content that's associated with it. So you need to know that about it. Um, you can change the default location to bottom by visiting an instance of the super tag and altering the options. So if I go here to sample project, and I hear and I see this, I can move this to bottom. Now it sits on the bottom. I can also move it back 
to the right side, it defaults to the right side. Um, but that means you can have some on the bottom and some on the right, and uh, you know, it kind of keeps things uncluttered as a result. And um, you'll note if you go back to this menu, you see this is suddenly looks like a diamond instead of like a circle, like a normal node. All that means is if you have moved things around, the way Tana's doing that is by adding a little context field to it here. You don't have to do that manually, but when you see this little diamond shape, don't be, don't be scared that something terrible has happened. That's generally just indicating that you've moved it. Um, and so there's explicit information about whether it's at the bottom or on the right included. And that's the way that Tana notes that there's contextual information about that um, in there. So in these exercises, um, I'm just going to have, I don't need to do either of them. Um, I'm just going to have you walk through here and create specific um, searches inside super tags in the related content area. Um, so you'll create the super tags, create the relationship between them. Um, it'll talk you through how to do that and then put those searches in there in the related content for the relevant super tags uh, so you can see how that works.